like let's say it's 17 increased by a number. And what we're going to do piece by piece is underline the parts of these sentences that mean anything to do with math and translate that, them accordingly. So when we read through this, we have 17, sure, that's a number, increased by a number. So 17 increased by a number. Tell me something up there that means a mathematical operation. Can you tell me that? Increase. What's increased mean? Plus. So we're going to underline that, that word, plus. Or underline that word increased by. And right under, we're just going to put a plus. Just so we have in our head right now that increased by means we're adding something. What does it mean by a number? Yeah, it doesn't mean you get to pick your number, right? It means they pick the number, but they haven't told you what it is yet. So, what now? Like a letter. Anything you, you want. We're going to stick away from like zero or like O's or I's because they, they look funny to us. But what's a typical variable that you want? Yeah, you pick X, you can pick P, N, whatever. Be creative, don't pick X all the time, that's just boring. So let's pick some fun ones later on, but we'll pick X for now. So we're going to underline every word that means math. Increased by means plus, a number means a variable, and then we can translate this down. So instead of actually having to think of it all at once, we have this. We have 17, we know this means plus, we know this means a variable. Can you now write this pretty easily? How much is it going to be? 17x, 17 plus x, 17 plus x. That's it. That's exactly what that is. Let's go through the same process. This says the product of seven and a number. First thing, tell me something up there that means some math to you. Product. Great. What does product mean? Multiplication. Great. Okay. So product of means we're multiplying somewhere with a little dot. What else means something up there that we need to translate? A number. What do you want to make it? Y. W. I like W. J's call. Oh, I like J. <laughs> So the product of seven and a number, now this one's a little bit different than this because this, the increase by gave the number first, this one says the product of, and then it gives you two things. These go in the same order that they're written. Please listen carefully. This is not always the case. Sometimes you're going to get some things that, are, that look like they're backwards. Uh, this happens with uh, when you do like more than or less than. Those things are written in a sentence, but you have to write them almost what you are going to think is a backwards way. This one's written in the appropriate order. So here we're going to do the product of 7 and a number. It's just going to be 7 times j. And we're going to get 7j. Yeah, we don't really write the times between them. I think I have enough room here. I'll try one more. Ten decreased by a number. Ten decreased by. What's the decreased by mean to you? Subtract. Great. Increased addition, decreased course subtraction. A number. We're going to pick a variable there. Someone else pick another variable. P. L. L is good. So we'll have ten minus L. Now the reason I do this one is because I'm going to compare it to the next one we have. This is the one where ninety percent of the people who take my class take. Most math 80 classes, they mess this part up. Hopefully you won't be part of that 90%. Here's what it looks like. Happens, I explain the same way every time. It just, it just so happens that this is a hard one because people see, you'll see.
Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, duh, Mr. Leonard, this one's pretty easy. Subtracted from should probably mean minus, right? And it does, you're right. And a number, well, that's duh, that's like a variable y. But you know what? If you put this, you just got the problem wrong. If, if you put this this way, you just mess up this problem. And when you do this in a, in a different situation where I add on more things to this, like I'm going to say four times the product, or four times the, four times five subtracted from a number uh, divided by two times the quantity of x plus three. If you screw up this little part, you're going to get the whole thing wrong. Do you see what I'm talking about? This is not just our, our end here. This is not where we end. This is just a little piece. You have to get this piece right so you can move on. If you do 5 subtract from a number, put 5 minus y, which that happens a lot when you're going quick. You say, oh, subtraction. I know this. This is not exactly right. I want you to think of what subtracted from means. If I say you have 3 subtracted from 20, how much do you have? You all just answer that question. 3 subtracted from 20. Did you do this? You didn't just do that, did you? Because that would be negative 17. We haven't even got there yet. So 3 subtracted from 20. Here's what you did in your head. You did, OK, I have 20, and now I'm subtracting 3. That's 3 subtracted from 20. This one and the next one I'm going to write and the next one after that are written backwards from what they should be. Okay, the sub well, well, what you think they should be. The subtracted from means it comes at the end. So whenever you see subtracted from, what we're going to put up here is, if it's subtracted from, yeah, it's minus, but it's going to be minus 5. That's coming at the end of it. Maybe that will help you out a little bit. I hope it does. So 5 subtracted from a number, it's not 5 minus y. It's not that one. It's y minus 5. This is 5 being subtracted from a number that I give you. How many people understand the difference between those two? Okay, that's important. The other one that works the same way as this. Yeah, subtracted from. It means you're, you have the, the, you add the number first and you're subtracting from that. I know it gets a little confusing, right? Because you want to write it in that order. But. Uh, let's do... This one is the same way. That less than idea is the same way. If I say you have 7 less than 15, think about this one. If I say you have 7 less than 15, how much do you have? Right, how much is that? So if I say less than, it's the same thing as a subtracted from. If I say 7 less than 15, what you're doing is 15 minus 7. Here I'm saying 7 less than a number. Let's pick t. Less than means minus, but it means the same thing. Minus that number. Yeah, Jay. Then there are less than the one thing. Less than, yeah, there is a less than, but that's a different context. Why are you writing negative nine? We're we're take, saying that we're writing this in the correct order. Less than means I'm gonna take this number away from here. If I just write it like this, we now have the wrong thing. Well then you're gonna put negative nine? No, what we're going to do is we're going to write the t, and then we're going to take 9 less than that. It's written in that order. The t comes first in this case, just like the subtracted from. That's a good question. Any other questions? It's all good. You do need to understand before we go any further, so if you have more, ask. Yeah. Um, only in subtraction is what happens, or in all of them? In subtraction, it depends on the wording. You see, when we had like decreased by, we had 10 minus L. There's a couple ones you need to watch out for. It's subtracted from less than and more than. The thing about more than, it really doesn't matter because it doesn't matter how you add mathematics. But I do want you to write in the right order. The subtracted ones, the subtraction ones, those are the ones that are going to get you. Okay? Does that make sense to you? Uh, the products don't really matter because it doesn't matter how you multiply. The division does, right? But quotient is in, the, is in the proper order. That's okay. The ones that really mess people up, I've just told them to you, are subtracted from and less than. Those are the ones that get people all the time. I just had from K with that. Okay, so are you going to watch out for subtracted from and less than? Yeah. Everything else is okay. Decrease by, yeah, right in that order. That's fine. That's, that's cool. But here, 
These are written backwards of how they're written in the sentence. So instead of 5 minus, we're doing y minus 5. Instead of 9 minus t, we're doing t minus 9. That's subtracted from and less than. Notice how the, the subtracted from is referring to the second thing. Do you see that? It's saying, I'm after that. The less than is referring to the second thing. It's, I'm after that. Okay, I'd like to give you about five on your own. Let's see if you can translate these correctly. Let's stick with four. I think that'll give us a good idea of what's going on. I'll be walking around. If you do need help, just raise your hand. I'll, I'll come and help you. 